Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Arun and in this video we are going to discuss about SAP HANA which is the in-memory database from SAP. This is the agenda. Firstly we are going to learn about what is an in-memory database since SAP HANA is an in-memory database. Then we are going to discuss about SAP HANA, benefits of SAP HANA, HANA Express Edition which is a free version of the HANA database and finally we are going to talk about how can you learn more about SAP HANA. Please give the video a like and share it with your friends if you find it useful. I have also created an introduction to SAP course on Udemy. You can find the link to that course in the video description. So please check it out if you're interested to attend the course. Now let's get into the topic. So what is SAP HANA? SAP HANA stands for High Performance Analytic Appliance. It is an in-memory database. And before we get into the details of SAP HANA, let us take a quick look at what is an in-memory database. An in-memory database is a database that keeps data in memory rather than on a disk. The primary distinction between traditional and in-memory databases is where the data is stored. Even when compared to solid state drives, RAM is faster than disk access. Because an in-memory database uses RAM for data storage, Data access is much faster than a traditional database that uses disk for operations. Typically, in-memory databases are used in applications where faster access to data is required. It is commonly used in applications like real-time analytics, weather predictions, fraud predictions in, game, in banking systems, Internet of Things and uh, gaming to name a few. The main downside of an in-memory database is data loss due to power failure. As you may know, RAM is volatile, the data in RAM will be lost when the power is turned off. So to address this issue, most in-memory database systems offer persistence. Transactional logging is used to accomplish this. An in-memory database image is saved on the disk during a normal shutdown. The previously saved image is loaded when the application is reopened and every transaction committed to the in-memory database is appended to a transactional log file. If the system crashes unexpectedly, the database can be re restored by reloading the original database image from the disk and replaying the transactions from the transactional log file. Okay, now let us talk about what is SAP HANA. As mentioned before, SAP HANA is an in-memory database and as a result, you can run advanced real-time analytics and it offers high-speed transactional capabilities. SAP HANA is unique and significantly faster than other database management systems on the market today because it stores data in column and in memory and combines both online analytical processing which is also known as OLAP and online transactional processing which is known as OLTP in the same system. It was introduced in 2010 and it provides advanced search, analytics and data integration capabilities for all types of data, both structured and unstructured. It also serves as an application server, assisting businesses in developing intelligent, insight-driven applications based on real-time data, in-memory computing and machine learning technology. It is available as both on-premise and cloud editions. One thing to note about SAP HANA database is SAP's latest ERP product, which is known as SAP S4 HANA, can run only on the HANA database and it cannot run on other databases like Microsoft SQL Server or Oracle database. SAP's software as a service cloud applications like SuccessFactors, Ariba, Analytics Cloud, SAP BTP run on the HANA database in SAP's data centers. And as mentioned before, SAP HANA is used for applications which requires faster data processing like real-time analytics, weather predictions, fraud detection in banking systems, Internet of Things and gaming applications. Now let's take a look at the benefits of HANA database. Capabilities like database services, advanced analytical processing, application development and data integration are all included in the HANA database. In large production applications, queries are answered in less than a second. It is versatile, supports hybrid transactional and analytical processing, as well as a wide range of data types. It's efficient, offers a smaller data footprint with no data duplication, advanced compression and data silos reduction. It is effective, uses a massively parallel processing database to query large data sets quickly. It is scalable, 
scales easily for data volume and concurrent users in a distributed environment. It is flexible. It can be deployed in public or private clouds, multiple clouds, on-premise or hybrid scenarios. It is simple. Advanced data virtualization provides a single gateway to your data. It uses a simple data model technique. And it is intelligent because it adds uh, machine learning to applications and analytics. It's secure, provides comprehensive data and application security, fast setup and other features. And what is SAP HANA Express Edition? SAP offers a free version of the HANA database that you can download and install on your laptop or a virtual server or in a cloud. It is free to use for in-memory databases of up to 32 gigabytes and you can expand to 64, 96 or 128 gigabytes by purchasing an additional license. You can download SAP HANA Express Edition from this website which you can see on the screen. I have provided the link to this website in the video description. And how can you learn more about SAP HANA database? So there are four or five different types of resources through which you can learn more about HANA database. The first one I want to show you is the SAP.com website. So in the SAP.com website, there is a section for SAP HANA Cloud. And if you scroll down a bit, you will find a um, few options like product demo demos, where you can get a bit more information about the HANA database. And it contains learning paths where it shows different types of learning paths for different topics. For example, SAP HANA, you know, uh, adaptive server, administrating and monitoring and things like that. And you can just click on this learning journeys and where you'll be able to find more tutorials about HANA database. And they also offer small and quick tutorials about um, HANA databases, like 20 minute, 10 minute tutorials, as you can see from the screen. And it contains information about online events. So SAP conducts webinars about HANA databases and a lot of other topics. So you can find more information about these online events which you can participate. And it also contains documentations which you can download um, that contains information about the HANA database. The second resource is SAP Community. So if you go, go to the Community section, there is a section called Topics. And you can go into the Topics and you can search for HANA which will list everything that are related to the name HANA. And if you scroll down a bit, you'll be able to find information about SAP HANA Cloud and SAP HANA On-Premise. If you click on that, you'll be able to find information about you know, what's new in the HANA Cloud version and what's new in the HANA On-Premise versions, uh, webinars, link to you know, use cases, onboarding guides, blog posts, etc., etc. The other place where you'll be able to find more information about HANA platform is the help portal. Here you'll be able to find more information about the functionalities that are recently included in the new version of the HANA database, release notes, installation guides, administrative guides, architectural designer documents, etc., etc. And then you'll be able to find official courses that are offered by SAP in the SAP Training and Certification Center. You'll be also able to do some certifications for HANA database. So if you go to the SAP Training Center, under the Explore Catalog under Technology, you'll be able to find topics related to HANA database. So you can click on Discover SAP HANA, and it will list all the courses and training certifications available for the HANA database. So I'm just clicking the HA200, which is Installation and Administration Certification. By doing this course, you will get insights into you know, the HANA database cockpit, architecture and deployment options, administration tools, users and authorization, security, and so much more. All right, so that's it about SAP HANA database. Hope you got some insights about the HANA database and in-memory database. If you like the video, please give it a like and share it with your friends. I will see you soon in another video. Thank you.